What is up everybody, it is Yo Aspire here and I am back with a new video. So um, as some of you may know, Vegas Pro 22 has come out. So I just wanted to make a video to really show you guys the great new features that Vegas has added as well as some improvements too. I've been using Vegas Pro for over 10 years now, so I've seen it through a lot of stages and it really just makes me happy to see how much this software has grown from when I first started. So without further ado, let's get into these new updates. So the first thing you'll notice when opening the software is the new welcome screen. As you can see, it's been completely revamped. What I like about it is the five tabs for aspect ratio it has. It has widescreen or 16 by nine, which is good for like your standard YouTube video or music videos and things like that. It also has scope or 241, which is an aspect ratio that is primarily used by filmmakers. I use this aspect ratio quite often as a filmmaker myself, and it's great that Vegas Pro already has a template for it. It also has full screen or four by three, which is good for a vintage or old school look. And it also has portrait and square, which is good for social media. So to start off, a great improvement that I've noticed is the smoothness of its playback at high quality settings. This is a clip from a music video that I filmed recently, and as you can see I have the quality at 4K and at the full resolution, and I still have a really smooth playback. It even still continues when I add a LUT filter onto the clip. This saves a lot of your editing time because you don't have to worry about pre-rendering all your clips even if they have a few effects on them. Another great new feature is the timeline selection improvement. Now in previous versions of Vegas, if you wanted to access the timeline selection tool, you have to go down to the toolbar at the bottom and select this square icon right here. You would also access it by hitting D on your keyboard until the selection tool popped up. That could be quite confusing to find for new users but now Vegas has made it a lot easier. You can now access the selection tool by simply left clicking and dragging over what you want to select which is a lot more convenient when editing. Now let's talk about these new AI features. Vegas Pro 22 comes equipped with a ton of new AI features but today I'll be going over the new and improved AI text-based editing, AI auto reframe, AI sharpen, AI smoothen, AI dehaze, and my personal favorite AI style transfer. It even has beat detection for audio editing. You can use beat detection by right clicking on your audio file and selecting it. Now you can adjust the sensitivity to your liking. After you hit OK, you'll automatically see markers on your audio file. Now the events on your timeline will snap to the new markers as you move them around. This feature is really useful to me as a music video director because oftentimes I like to edit on the beat and now I can do it automatically without having to listen to the song and set the markers myself. It also helps to cut out the section of the song that you want to focus on and use the beat detection on that part. You can also access it directly from the trimmer tab. You can add it as a button at the bottom for easier access by clicking these three dots, going to edit visible button set and selecting beat detection. With the new AI text-based editing tools, you can use the speech to text feature to create a transcript of your project and then edit the transcript. For example, if you were to delete a section of text or cut and paste, etc., Vegas Pro will automatically edit the event on your timeline for you. It could even do the opposite. If you were to trim an event on your timeline, Vegas Pro will automatically edit the transcript to match. In order to do this, you simply need to make sure you have auto ripple turned on while in text-based editing. To access this feature, go to tools and then select AI speech to text. After that, just pick the audio file that you want to transcribe and then hit analyze. If you notice any mistakes in the transcript, you can use the find and replace feature to correct them. Just type the word you want to search for in the find text field, and it'll highlight everywhere this word is said. Now type the word you want to replace it with in the replace text box, then simply hit replace all occurrences. It's best to use this feature if you plan on turning your transcript into subtitles later on. To do that, you can go to the subtitles tab and hit generate titles. And just like that, Vegas Pro will automatically add subtitles to your project. Essential Pieces was born in New York City during the pandemic. Now let's move on to AI Auto Reframe. AI Auto Reframe detects the focus of your video and optimizes it for different aspect ratios. Once you add on the effect, you wanna select the aspect ratio that you wanna to transfer to. You can choose from either landscape, portrait, full screen, square, scope, or custom. Next, you can click follow subject, adjust the smoothness, and then hit reanalyze footage. As you can see, the white box is now following the subject of the video. You can also turn on allow manual manipulation to fix any hiccups. Once it's to your liking, you can hit project aspect ratio to apply the effect. This feature is great because it easily allows you to post your video to a variety of platforms. Now let's move on to the AI Sharpen and the AI Smoothen features. AI Sharpen can be used when you have a shot that's slightly out of focus that you want to fix. Simply add the effect on, play with the details, and adjust the amount. I recommend using high details for the cleanest result. Same goes for AI Smoothen. This feature softens small details in your video while still preserving the sharp edges for a clean look. I really like how this feature works when it's paired with the AI Smart Mask 2.0. For medium shots, I keep the main subject as is and add the AI smooth into the foreground for an added depth of field. AI Dehaze is another great feature. This feature is great to use when you're filming in daylight and don't have adequate equipment to block out the light rays from the sun. Just like with the smoothen and the sharpen feature, you simply apply this effect and adjust the settings. As I stated before, I always like to set my details to high for the best result. You can mess around with the artifact reduction settings too. You may have to increase or reduce the gain and offset to get your effect to look the way you want. 
Now I'm going to show you guys how I did this cool effect for my latest music video using Vegas's new style transfer feature. So to start out, I use AI Smart Mask to mask out the subject's face. I then turn on the animations. Make sure you're always at the first keyframe when doing this. Then I started the motion tracking process, which allows Vegas to track the mask at the camera moves. And once that's done, you just want to turn on view masking results. Okay, so as you can see, AI Style Transfer has a ton of unique presets to choose from. For this effect, I went with the Floral Pattern preset. Once you add on the effect, it lets you choose your style source from a predefined reference or from a custom reference. For the custom reference, you can choose from either a file on your computer, a screen grab, or it'll take from the preview screen. But for now, I'll just use the predefined reference. For the details, I set it to original, which is the highest quality, so it may make your software run just a little bit slower. The reason I love this effect so much is because there's just so much you can do with it. I wanted the subject of this effect to look more like a monster or a scary figure. So to make it look darker, I added an inversion effect. I then adjusted the color using Vegas Pro's secondary color corrector, then added some glow and distortion effects to finish off the effect. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, Vegas Pro 22 has added some really great updates in that are great whether you're a content creator or a filmmaker, Vegas Pro is something for you. And for more info about how you can use Vegas Pro 22, you can visit VegasCreativeSoftware.com.